All right, guys, totally pissed off. Totally pissed off. That's why this is out, because I'm pissed off. I just got this 0200 from a, uh, a, a member. Thank you, Aaron. I appreciate it. You gave it to me in a good condition. It was working properly. Everything was right. Everything was perfect. Then I decided to cut. I thought, you know what? 0200. Tough as a tank. One of the strongest, strongest knives around. The strongest knife in the world? Nah. Never thought that, but you know what I mean? I was going with zero tolerance and what they're, you know, and it is, this is one of their first models. So yeah, you can blame that the technology is still developing. See the squirrel in the background? See my dad's live trap there? I hate it. I hate it. But what I, I can't do anything about it. Anyway. I sabotage it all the time. I, uh, I hit it with like bleach water and stuff like that and keeps the animals out of there. <laughs> so he doesn't trap anything. Anyway, back to this. I cut that out. That's all I did. I cut it out and then I wiped off the knife and I decided to do this. I don't know why, I just decided. I decided to do side to side and it had. Oh, and before I, before I continue, the pivot was adjusted properly where there was zero side to side. Even with the lock pushed to the side, I would go like this, no side to side. With the lock, there was zero up and down. And then, so I had this thing tuned just right. Had a blue lock tight at it and everything. And I was all happy and I was very, very, uh, I only had this for two days now, right? Uh, I was very happy with the performance. So I cut that out. I'm thinking, hey, super tough freaking knife. So I did. Okay, I cut it out. And then, uh, then when I finished, wiped it all off, did this. It was playing I'm like okay maybe the the pivot backed off and it did it backed off a little bit so I tightened everything and I decided to do this Let's see if I can do it without hurting myself position my hands okay I'm not even gonna wiggle I'm just gonna push I'm just gonna just fold I'm not trying to twist while I'm trying to fold I'm just folding just folding And I try. I already opened the knife before I started this video. Open the knife. I checked the the face. You can see there's an actual roll on the face and everything else. I have a picture of it after uh, opened. There's a roll on the face, and I tried to square the face off with a ceramic rod a little bit, and it did improve it a little bit because if I did this, you would feel it going. You would feel the lock rock. So I got rid of the lock rock by squaring off the face a bit, but it still rolls. See, it still rolls right off, and that's barely any pressure now. That's a that's a dangerous knife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send it to ZT, right? I live in Canada. They don't want to send it back. I already know because I have a zero four, a zero uh, zero eight zero four that needs uh, repair, and everything's on hold because of that. Very disappointed. Very, very, very sad. Actually, what are you gonna do? Life moves on. All right, so the, the second part of this is just me. It's it's the end of Halloween or whatever. I'm not a Halloween celebrator. I don't celebrate Halloween. I was just doing. I just brought out pumpkins to mess with because Halloween gives me a chance to mess with pumpkins. Gonna throw that in the garden for all the squirrels and whatever. So yeah, pissed off about the zero tolerance. So I had uh, I bought four pumpkins in the spirit of things, and I was gonna carve them all out. I was gonna carve them all out.
and because I wrecked my ZT, I am very angry. Look at this thing. This thing is a beautiful knife. Piece of junk. Very upset. Frig you, ZT. Frig you. I'm upset about that. I don't like your claims. I don't like your... What you all are all about right now. I'm angry. For the squirrels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Folders, folders versus fixies. Before anybody gets on my case about that's what you get when you deal with a folder and all that stuff. Believe me, I'm an advocate for fixed blades over folders. But when you hear the company hype, then you hear all the people who back the hype. You eventually start to gain a little bit of like, mm, maybe they know what they're talking about. Yeah. If you want to make a grown man cry, find out his weak spot. Stick, find out his sore spot or his weak spot and attack that. So, I am crying today because my knife is bust. I try not to hit the bench so I'm being careful with my swings. I mean, I can hit the bench, but I don't wanna. It's a wooden bench, but still. The way I'm not feeling very, what's the word? I'm feeling a little, well, I'm upset, so I'm upset and swinging, uh, you know, you need your mind. You need your mind there 100%, so. Thanks. Thank you, Zero Tolerance, in the way that I mean thank you. And thank you, Bark River, in the way that I really mean it. Sincerely, thank you.